All right, guys, my Ryzen 5 gaming PC build and review is here. Apologize, it's taking longer than I said it should. I ran into some technical issues, but I want to thank AMD, a HyperX um, Gigabyte, as well as Thermaltake uh, for all the parts. I'm using the Thermaltake Suppressor F31 uh, with uh, tempered glass uh, for the case, I'm using also the Thermaltake uh, uh, power supply as well as other parts. So the suppressor case has a lot of compartments, which I'm gutting out because I wanted to keep this as clean as possible. We're using the Ryzen 5 1600X, and we're gonna see how this thing performs in gaming on our, of course, uh, Gigabyte board. Now, in terms of graphics card, I was gonna go with the uh, the Asus ROG Strig um, G, uh, RX 480, but it was having issues. So. I, I decided to swap it out since that was delaying me here and I figured I might as well go with the Titan X on here. So I'm going with the Titan X and Maxwell Titan X and this will actually give me a better comparison to match with my um, my 7700X uh, build, K build. So this is similar spec by spec, but you know, com I'm basically going to be looking at how my Ryzen 5 6600X compares to an Intel um core i7 7700x okay i keep saying x i don't know why i keep saying x but anyway uh, i think that'll be a nice way to, to mix and match and see how it goes now let's take a look at our build we've got 16 gigs of ddr4 memory glee x memory you can see the white cabling we're using of course multiple colors on the fans um as well as the uh, that is a maxwell titan x and of course our smart um power supply is also has some led lighting really nice case in terms of space you can see how much space is in there so i can have a bigger card if i want to i can add more cooling i can even make it custom cooling eventually if i, I do and my storage is of course is the hyper x predator 240 gigabytes of storage so i like the build i like what i've done i'm very happy with it it. And I have to say, though, my cable management has gotten better. Um, I'm not trying to mount on, but you can see at the back here, much cleaner, less exotic and messy than it was before. But hopefully, this at least uh, gives you guys something better to look at in this video and not some of the kind of a little shorty cable management I had. Now, the uh, suppressor case has two USB 3.0 ports on the top, uh, two more USB ports, a power port, headphone jack, reset, and you've got this massive filter base on the very top of the case so that uh, you can filter in air, especially since I have my uh, my Thermaltake uh, 240X cooler on the very top. So it's easy to actually swap that in and out, dust it up clean, and we are ready to go. So of course, we care about gaming. We wanna see how well this system handles games. Uh, this is, in terms of core specs here, you're looking at a Ryzen 5 1600X, you're looking at uh, 16 gigs of DDR4 memory, we have 240 gigabytes of storage SSD, PCIe SSD from HyperX, we have an 850, um, power supply. We also have a Titan X Maxwell edition on there. And this is all based on top of the Gigabyte AB350 Gaming 3 motherboard. Um, so this should give us exactly some really good beginning performance. So let's start off with our first game, Doom. So in Doom, we have everything set on Ultra. We go through the settings to check a look at what we have. Uh, accept that, of course. Go through Vulcan, set it ultra. We're running the resolution 3440 by 1440, and right now we're doing uh 77 frames per second down to 67. So, if my memory serves me correct, this is slightly lower than what we got in range uh, compared to the 7700K, but it's still pretty good. Uh, again, too, the I'm sure optimization hasn't hit yet for a lot of games with Ryzen, uh, but this is way over 60 frames a second. And a game like Doom, the higher frame rate you get, the much better it fares. And that's always nice. You can see that you're not getting any lag, you're not getting slow down, you're getting higher frame rates. It dropped down to about 68 and the maximum highest, I think went to about 78 frames per second. What I did note is that while, that while I was not recording uh, using uh, the GeForce experience, I got up to 88 frames per second. So uh, I, I'm having some issues where um, my recording software is tampering with it but I'll say maximum frame rate I go is about 88 frames per second with this 
um, with the Ryzen, uh, the Ryzen 5 1600X. Now moving on to good old favorite, the Division. Division, everything is set at ultra. Resolution is the same. Uh, maxed out frame rate is uh, 49, uh, 0.99 hertz. But in terms of what we're getting, uh, this was pretty much set at 50 frames a second. Uh, this is much better than what we actually got from the 7700K. Uh, the range was much better between, you know, it was 44, 41, all the way to 50, as opposed to the 7700X. So I, I do like the fact that this actually stood closer to 60 frames per second as opposed to that. And um, again, the game is maxed out, which is good. So. Uh, the Ryzen 5 6600X really showcases that you can do a lot with it. You don't have to necessarily go to Ryzen 7 to get peak performance for your gameplay. Uh, and again, this is a mixture of what you're using as a, a GPU. Uh, but you can clearly see here that, you know, with the Titan X Maxwell Edition, by the way, so meaning if you have a GTX 1080 with this, you're getting these kind of performances with it. And um, that's pretty good for a game uh, like Division, which is open world, really expansive. Uh, um, all together. Now our final game here is Mass Effect Andromeda and even though we didn't test it with the 7700K, uh, uh, this is doing 47 frames per second, 46 right now uh, and that's matching even the 1800X uh, which is good. Uh, I could actually even play this as my 7700K because for some reason my drivers were not working on that system. Uh, but uh, I will say that the Ryzen 5 600, uh, uh, 600X handles this really well. Um, you know, I wasn't sure how it would handle uh, Andromeda because, you know, you've seen different uh, frame rates from different people. Uh, but this is doing a pretty good job. It goes up to about 50, 52, 53 frames per second, handles it pretty nice, really fast flowing. Again, everything is maxed out at ultra. so. I am really liking what the Ryzen 5 can do. And to me, what it says is that a Ryzen 5 is pretty much where you want to start your builds if you're on a budget. If you're looking to, to build a gaming PC where you're saying, okay, look, I don't want to spend too much on my CPU, but I want to actually maximize maybe my GPU and other things, my storage on my build, this is where you start from. The Ryzen 5 as a processor can handle that and do those kind of needs you want to. I'm also, I also edited this video on my Ryzen 5 and you know, for the length of the video, it was a one-to-one -one ratio. So if you put it in math, that's pretty good uh, for rendering something in 4K. Um, so I like this processor. I like the performance that AMD has brought with it. And it's exciting because it means you can build a cheaper PC. Now, uh, I have the build specs with PC Part Picker. You guys can go ahead and, and check it out if you want to. This is not a build in terms of price. This is just kind of uh, uh, me reworking my initial build to even match you know a previous build and see how it compares to what Intel has to offer and I have to say a Ryzen 5 is a damn good PC uh, a processor to pick up and if you want to save money money spend 249 this is a processor that will give you a lot of your gaming needs so if you guys have any questions or any comments about the ryzen 5 600x processor let us know if you're looking to pick it up use our amazon link down below to purchase one right now and also the motherboard and some of the other parts you've seen because you will be ready to go to build your own ryzen pc otherwise guys if you're watching for the first time hit the subscribe button as well as the notification icon to be notified with our latest videos this is thunder e saying thank you very much don't forget to like and share this video subscribe to the channel again and always enjoy your entertainment. Thank you.